uh, the thing is I wanted to like explode it and kill it and then find a potion right after that but since I couldn't actually see what was behind that I didn't end up getting a potion an early spoon who likes this not me so I can explode this guy and go take this ah, I should have got the potion last honestly Ooh, an early defense. I like it. Ooh. The tiara. The tiara this early? Our early game is sold. If you have less than five items, you freeze. We lose defense, but we get souls on kill. Eh. Alright. The more items I take, though, the worse that tiara becomes. The speed and the freeze is pretty good, though, I must admit. The speed in the freeze is is really good right now. Get health. All right, the more items I take, though, the, the tiara is longer. At what point do I got to give up on the tiara? Oh, I already lost the tiara. One, two, three, four, five. And this counts as an item? I already lost tiara. It's already gone. Heal one on attack. Yikes. Tiara, you got me through a floor and I'm, I'm grateful. I'm forever grateful. Let them explode here. Not bad. This guy cannot leave. I refuse to let him leave. How dare he. Another flag explosion damage five times. Akira's a good one, guys. Akira's a good one. I'm down. Ah, this is for the charm, right? I don't have anything for him to take. Whoopsies. Took a bad floor. See, that's better than the tiara. I don't know, sorry, it doesn't replace the tiara. Uh, I would like to defend defense, but I don't have any souls. The reason why I don't have any souls is because I took an empty room. Heal. This guy hurts, man. This guy hurts me. What do we got here? Drinking a health potion gives. I love it. Ooh, dungeons have plus two cards. Ooh, that's kind of nice too. I must be honest. Let's get out of here. Actually, let's see if the burial is lucky for us. Let's see. So I do this. This guy. Needs to get poisoned. And what I need to do is fight something immediately. Because I can cure the poison. So I need to fight something immediately. I need to fight anything. Literally anything. Soul Torch. Yes. Literally anything. How does he do seven back? This I have no defense. Get out of here. Jeez. This thing kills me. But I want to bring the, the explosive next to this guy. He's a lot of defense. Nice. This this I should be using the soul. I'm gonna freeze here. Nice. I should be using the healing sooner. Freeze is such a good stat. We're getting a lot of souls. Look at the clarity. It's adding up, guys. 
Ranger triggers won't attack you. Skip past creature after attack. I'm gonna do camouflage. And honestly, this little creepy doll is low key a, a soft carry, hard carry. Let's take those souls. I should I should have got the potion after that. I should have killed these things and then got the potion. That was my bad. But with the soul torch, then I actually do a lot of damage. I could avoid the poison damage by going to here. Boom. No poison damage. Clean. We're at the crossroads. Let's go for a fight. Careful maneuver. Now, if I'm careful. Nice. Let's bring them together over here. Gorgeous. It's a barrier that, why not? Oh, he's about to leave. Attacks to inflict a random status effect? That sounds crazy. Nice. Wait, this is a really powerful run right now. Plus four damage to frozen creatures, plus one soul damage to random creature after attack. This gives me more clarity though, which ends up giving me even more soul gain. I lose two HP. Nah, but I like I like. I, I, that was a fine reroll actually. Maybe I should have rerolled there. That was my bad. Look at our souls right now. We are in there. Explosions heal. You gain half health from potions, but explosions heal. Thank you. You can put it over there. Thank you. We, we gained some knockback, so that helps with the... I'm going to go ahead and re-roll here. Souls deal... Soul attacks do an extra plus one damage. Wow, more clarity. More clarity. So if I attack this guy, I got to be mindful. Wait, I have freeze? Wait, how are those things... What's going on? Why are they not exploding? Oh my god, the attacks, random status effects have been carrying me. Wait, this instability is doing some crazy things. I remember I do I think I do three X's damage. Alright. Ooh. This is brand new. I don't know what this is. The instability is in shrine of neglect. This is brand new. So what is this asking me? It's asking me to do what? Sacrifice something. Takes away one of my stats? Okay, and for what? Is it for a heal normally? Is it for a heal? That just loses a strength for no reason. Doubles gat uh, gain from the next three steps. Let's, let's do it. Let's do the catalyst here. Sounds great. Jeez. Oh yeah, I forgot the guy who's attacking me. Nice. I got two defense out of that. I fucked that one up. I'm gonna be honest, I fucked that one up. Reflect your damage when hit. Minus one speed. Let's do it. I gotta be careful for reflects. 75, let's go. We got an epic. Plus two poison to creature when you hit. Failing self gives you a guaranteed self next pass. This gives you a critical hit chance as well, and it gives you four health, as well as an, a defense. Um, I could re-roll here for another epic. What do you guys think? 
dungeon items will all spawn at the front of the dungeon. That sounds insane, no? Doubles my clarity. Wait, what? This doubles my clarity. Which means I get crazy amount of curse resistance. I have 30 clarity. We also gain a lot of souls. Interesting. Plus three damage to poison creatures. Okay. They're going to reflect here. Um, this guy's gonna hurt. Front card swap position, agile boots. I get speed and I get some crit and I lose an attack. Uh, the crit is interesting, no? I'm getting to higher crit now. What is this? Instability, eh? It's their front cards. I do want to take the bear trap. I have very good curse resistance. So I'd be surprised if I get that curse to the face. I want to fight this guy. Nice. Oh my god, what is... My build is insane right now. Um, what does instability do again? I forgot, I just I just saw this. Hmm. I don't remember what instability is. All I know is I'm getting shit in the skulls, souls, which is insane, guys, because... I'm gonna get 140 soul chests soon, which is like the highest tier loot, and then I'm get ready for late game. It also boosts how much I heal exactly. I get 12 from healing, so that's quite nice. And this gives me a cure poison and heal 3. I, I like that. I'm going to do instability. Poison's a kind of a stinker. What does it get rid of? It gets rid of the status effect. Ah, visionary is nice, but I think the status effect is kind of popping off, no? Oh, this guy's trying to, uh... Whoa. Wait, instability means they're about to... Wait, I forget, they're about to... Explode? What's going on here? This guy's way too much health. I mean, too much defense, I mean. Guys out of control. Oh, it's really means they keep dying. They take. T they keep taking two damage. But I should, I'd be mindful because of the. So they're about to take two damage, but this guy's about to explode in my face. That guy's dead. That's great. Ooh, look at the stack gains. I take two damage as well, okay, to be fair. Oh my god, this has been fantastic. So can I even fight this guy? He keeps ah uh, he keeps stomping. How much is this guy worth? Fifty three souls. He has ten he has ten defense and he has thirteen attack. It's too much. This should be good. I'm just not strong enough to beat him yet. He's worth a lot of souls, but we have enough souls for a couple of legendaries right now. If I had my 
poison clear, I would attack that, but I don't. All right, I need to get my this poison charge to hurt me. I have very low curse, so I should be fine. I have very low curse resistance. 75, I'll take it. Bronze Leaf gives me more dodge and crit. I lose instability. But I'm at 46% crit now. Clarity also gives crit chance? Oh god, Clarity's insane. I like this. I think I like this better. I gotta remember that I have... I get poison on front cards when I attack. I gotta remember that, alright? Lucas just swaps the position of cards. Attacks always critical hit on frozen creatures. Alright, I don't have ability to wait to freeze right now. Um, creatures with less than 20% health are frozen on hit. I think this is such a powerful thing. So tipping point, the fact that it freezes things, guarantee, is insane. The other issue though is that I lose this ability, which is... Not the move. Not the greatest shot either. Yeah, minus that clarity sucks. This guy's huge. If attacked, creatures absorb one random item until death. Uh, how do I manage this guy? Slowly? When I attack this guy, this guy gets poisoned. So I can keep poisoning this guy. He's gonna try to attack me, right? How much attack does he have? 10? That's okay if he attacks me. I should be mindful. He's doing some damage, right? But. Because he does have piercing. Okay. Plus you to your highest stat. This gives me reflects. This is these are some nice pants. Take a dent from explosions. This is some nice stuff too. Oh, there's the legendary. Game plus one temporary defense when hit until you next move. So we get a lot more clarity. Holy shit, our clarity is insane. Wait, we had to go for the clarity build. Look at our clarity. I'm taking okay. Target both front cards on attack. Oh lord. Not the dual wield. Both front cards on attack. These are insane. This gives me tons of clarity. I lose speed, but damn, my clarity is out of control. Which one's better? These are legendary, so. Attack both cards. What do you guys think is better, though? This gives me a lot of speed as well. Both cards in front. That could be that could mess me up though, right? Yeah, do well, I don't lose speed. Alright, we'll try it. But the clarity would have been insane. Should I soul spell on this guy? I lose all my souls though, right? To kill this man? I might, I might actually soul on that guy. Ranker just won't attack me? Uh, I like this. Ranker just not attacking me is actually quite useful. But this gives me more clarity. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty much immune to curses already. All right. So I'm gonna go use my item on this guy. Holy sh. Shit, dual wield insane. Front card swap positions. I like the cure a lot, but maybe, am I holding on to the cure for too long? 
Front card swap positions. I think the heal and the cure poison is very useful, but man. It doesn't it's not that good when I have dual wield. I'm leaving it. In the halls of Twisted Thought, you walk amongst the things you've wrought. Yeah, it's pretty good utility, but Plus two health, that's nice. Jeez. These guys are insane. These skulkers, they're actually insane. And this guy too, the face scene is actually insane as well. Attacks always critical hit. Okay, these are not really good. I'm gonna, gonna reroll one more time. Sneaky. I lose crit. Oh no, I don't. Ah, uh, this is just better. No, I lose a little bit of speed, but this is just better. I lose speed, but I get the ability to get a guaranteed stealth. That's insane. I forgot though. How do I kill these things? I don't think I can. I need like a freeze or something. Does the dual stack with it? So I, I wonder, because when I'm attacking, I do two plus another one. So I'm doing three damage randomly. So if I attack this guy, he's getting minus five. That's because I'm doing attacking both and he has five block. This guy has zero block. But I got a crit though. Jesus Christ. Fighting this guy, like. I don't want. See, I'm scared to attack both because. Oh my god, it's free. Oh, we got pole arm. We got void portal. Okay, so we lose all of our clarity. But we get some good stats. We get defense, speed, health, and we attack a random creature on kill. And we also have dual wield. So when we attack him on kill, does that also make dual wield proc? We also do we also get soul attack with that? Pole arm's insane because of the passing. Let's take, the, let's take the full arm. Hey, thanks for Twitch Prime Paradox. Appreciate it, man. Welcome back. Hey, thanks, buddy. Let's go. Pull arm's insane. Let's go. Hey, we also keep our clarity. I like Icy Touch. I think Icy Touch is very good. Pull arm's disgusting. I think this is the. I think this is the win, boys. I'm keeping the maybe Jeez. Can I fight this guy now? Wait, I can fight him like this, no? But he does two damage to me at a time. He has ten block. 
Best thing for me to do. Oh, but he also has 13 attack. This guy's hard. He has, too, he has too much block. It's a lot of souls, though. I need to heal, though. So I don't fight this guy? Ah, oh, man. I, I think the freeze is pretty good. It's not worth killing that guy. It's not worth it. Not worth it. I have way too many souls as it is. I can't even use all my souls right now. I killed both of these. That's great. Oh my god, pole arm. Careful, 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 careful. Holy shit. Okay, let's get this legendary. What do we got? Attack a random creature and kill. Mimics presents an extra choice. Even more clarity. So we lose some speed, but we gain some defense. And we lose the random status effects. But what do you guys think? It feels like it's just... Instability is pretty good. The random status effects, but I don't know. This is less RNG. Maybe reroll this. I'm running out of slots. I need a better... Uh... So what I need is a better chest and a better necklace. And that's going to help me find those better cards that I need. Let's see. Let's, let's get a, some better things. So, critical hits to three times as much damage. We also get more crit. So, Rangers, I will lose the effects of Rangers attacking me, but I have 65% crit. That has to be worth it. Reduce current health to one, gain five attack after you've completed three dungeons. All right, that's a pretty good attack, actually. Do I have sustain? Are there, can I see if there's potions left? Eruption looks fantastic. But, Restrain Heart is 5 attack, if I have Sustain right now, which I don't know if I do, because I can't check. Fuck it. it. Mimic is actually insane, by the way. When you're hit, you get plus 2. No, no, no. This has a lot of souls. Guys, do you know if there's potions here? There should be potions, right? I need potions, guys. I just need, I just need a potion. Just give me a potion. <gasps> potion. Oh. Oh, my God. Now we're going to have plus five attack. That's huge. Plus five attack is going to be huge. Alternate. Do uh, 10 damage to random. 20 heal to random. The hell? But now we're getting range attacks, which sucks. They're both trying to attack me. Oh my god, I get so much crit. This is ridiculous. This guy's a lot of defense. And once I get the uh, the uh, five attack, oh, it's gonna be a wrap, guys. Man, the curse resistance is so good because I get the stats for free. Look at that. 100% curse resistance. 65% crit. Healing, missing health becomes light damage to all creatures. Can I reroll this? Healing, missing health becomes light damage to all creatures. Reduce pushing damage taken by one.
poor arm just got a death. Let's go for reprieve. What's OP? The the piercing thing? Oh, I can kill this guy. He's angry right now. Oh, because I attacked him by mistake because of my pulled arm. Let's kill the owl this time. I can't because this guy keeps trying to attack me. Like concoction was insane. But I want the I want the attack. Wait, I can't I can't kill this guy as easily because I don't have freeze. Go, buddy. I'm almost there. Should I, I should go for it, right? Nice. Good crit. Oh my god, look at my souls. Ambush? You guys down for an ambush? Alright, we almost have a plus 5 attack. There it is, boys. Plus 5 attack. Oh my god, pole arm. Okay. Freeze creature when hit. Oh boys, we lose some of that we lose some of that beautiful um some of that beautiful crit, right? And we lose some of that stealth stuff, but man, we get freeze on hits. And that's useful. When I get hit, I freeze. If below 20% health, freeze and attack. That's a lot of clarity. But how often am I low 25% health? I lose 6 health for this. This is pretty good though, right? Tell me this is better than Cursed Heart. I lose 6 health. But I freeze on attack if I'm below 20% enough. I don't know how often I get there though. I'll do it. Willing the world. I got an achievement. Nice. Attacks? Nope. Do you want to get rid of some of our stuff? Oh my god, I have 75% crit chance. Is it possible to get 100% crit chance? I think this is just a better item. Right? That's just a better item. I think it gets 10% crit, I know, but I freeze when I get hit. That's kind of stupid, guys. Like, I'm out of control. Game attack after, yes. No. Look at my stats right now. Look at the crits. Oh, legendary. Did we get rid of Mimic now? Nah, I'm liking the generosity too much. Let's re-roll here. Attacks to a plus one light per four health. Healing, missing health becomes light damage to all creatures. To every single creature in the in the room. Oh my god! So tasty beans is great, but light concoction is insane. To all creatures in the room. That could mess me up too, right? I'm doing it. Healing items restore double the amount. Does that also do damage? But it only has to be missing health. Your healing items restore double the amount. I don't need that. It gives me a lot of health, though. All right, I lose a little bit of. I lose a lot of armor for doing this. This makes me lose armor. I 
I, th I think the negative defense is not worth it, yeah? Is this a better... Uh, I lose a lot. Ooh. Inflict freeze on parry. Ooh, that sounds great. I lose a little bit of my clarity. I lose a little bit of speed, but I gain more defense and I get freeze on parry. But I already freeze on hits. So if I get freeze when I'm hit, then this doesn't actually seem that good, right? I want to get some more max health though, that's for sure. My crit is out of control. We're almost at the end, boys. We're almost at the end. It's a victory. I can taste it. Look at these stack gains. Inflict freeze on parry. Oh, another legendary. Let's see what it is. Whoa, holy shit. Wait, but I do three damage to everything now when I do this, right? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Wait, that would have been kind of cool of Cure. Plus two poison creatures when hit. I, I do gotta replace Soul Charger, but like... Because my clarity is double, this five clarity is worth a lot, you know? I lose ten clarity by losing that item. I'm gonna reroll. Gain a third extra defense. But I gain a lot of health though, guys. Look at that. There's a chest piece that gives me a lot of defense and more health. I lose like three speed, but that sounds pretty good. We got even more clarity. That, that almost brings up to like, honestly, almost to 100% crit. That gives us so much clarity. We're going to be at 89 clarity, which means we lose that health that we just gained and the, some of the defense. But our crit chance is out of control. I don't know. I think I prefer the defense than the crit chance, in my, my opinion. Do we want to get rid of the generosity at this point? I don't even think so. What does this thing do? Whoo! I like that light damage. It's nice. Another legendary. Let's see. We want to get maybe a better soul charger. Uh, I'll discard. I should have rerolled. That's my bad. I should have rerolled there. I think that's my, my my last chance to reroll when I fucked it up. That's my last chance to reroll. Fucked it up, guys. Oh, oh my god! What? Is this the biggest upgrade I've ever seen? Should we should wait though, right? We should cash in a little bit more. Let's, let's wait a little bit longer. Yo! Should we go for Reckless? What gives me more souls? Reckless or instability? Instability is pretty free for us. I don't know what I don't know what the, the difference is here. I'm going for instability. I don't remember what reckless does. Let's make the biggest upgrade we've ever seen. This, this heal is going to be great, by the way. Once I use this heal. This heal could do so much damage to them. Alright, we upgrade now. 
Holy shit. I'm out of control right now. And this heals me like kill everything pretty much. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, I got an achievement. Max damage. Oh my god, I got another achievement. Another max damage achievement. If this is not a win, then I don't know what is. Jesus. So last time I didn't real. Oh my god, wait. Final form? Final form is here. Look at our stats. Oh my lord, look at our stats. I'm out of control. I'm pole arming everything. I'm unbeatable. Let's wake him up. My soul gain's out of control. 380% soul gain. I'm ready. Last time I didn't realize. But now for sure, we got this. I have a lot of potions I could use too. I have a lot of healing at my disposal. Oh wait, I didn't I never kill them, so I just win the game. Ah, last time I had to fight him, but I didn't kill him this time, which is unfortunate. I should have killed him. After all, you choose defiance. Why would you break our lines? Oh no, he is angry at me. Betrayal's cost is far from free. Shown yourself, now you'll see me. Ah, alright, my bad. I jumped the gun. Oh, they spawn everything new, huh? If I take damage intentionally, when I heal, I could do damage to everything. Something to consider. So if I take damage intentionally here, the healing does damage to everything. Probably worth it to blow everything up, no? So what's this guy doing? He's gonna attack neighbors. He's pretty big, I must admit. I want to kill everything first. But soon he's going to try to attack. Oh, he keeps summoning. Ah, so I, I keep taking damage intentionally so that I can use potions to do damage to everything. That seems smart. That guy's huge, though. So he does keep summoning, but I can just kill him with healing damage. Slowly but surely. Oh! Uh. He's vulnerable right now. He's trying to jump away. Is it okay to let him jump away? We take Intimidate at this point? Isn't Intimidate pretty good here? Because... Uh, we're fighting the final boss. Hey, what's up, Epic Gamer? Oh, my, my light concoction is disgusting. Alright, let's go fight him now. 
What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? He's summoning a whole bunch of shit? Scream attack. What does that do? I take 30 damage from scream attack? And I take six, 6 from the explosion. But then the scream attack kills me anyways. The fuck? But then the 6 kills me anyways. Wait, I died to scream anyways. So I need to not be near the explosion right now. And then I need to take this. But why is this thing exploding? Are you telling me I lost? If I use this cure, I, I, that, that counts as my turn? Why does that count as my turn? Can anybody tell me why? They have one damage lethal. This counts as my... Wait, doesn't the book... It says that when I use the book, I'm going to die, though, no? Does it, does it count as a turn when I use the book? That's all I need to know. Because if I use book, then I can use the potion and I'm fine. But it, look, if you notice, it, when, I says, when I click the book, it shows that I'm dying. I wish I knew. My other option is to take the potion and then try to dodge, I guess. But that looks like it's dead. I guess I could dodge the scream. Oh, I just need two more life, huh? Super so sure that the book doesn't cost a turn. I think it does. But keep. I think cure is different from like the the items here. The items that you use for like poison is different, no? So he's about to scream. All right, that was clutch. He's summoning creatures now. I need to stop him from doing that. Ah, I didn't realize I could do that. Let's attack him while he's vulnerable. Oh, easy. He was vulnerable and I just smacked him. That was scary. Well, luckily the book went first. Even when I was over overpowered, I almost lost. Scary as hell. GG, we beat it. it! Took us like, what, four hours to beat this game? Is that pink blood? What have I done? What happens next? What happens next? Remake the world with all you've learned, with hope and balance now returned. Shadow spreads, item will appear. Owl is gone, but cannot die. Waiting, watching keep inside. Mm -hmm.